So, today we're gonna look at autoload trailers for pallets on console. At time of recording we have four different ones. At least the ones I have found. There might be some other ones. I, um, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna look at uh, what they can take, uh, what they cannot take. The capacities, I have some beehives, greenhouses, uh, chickens, factories, cell points. So yeah, let's jump in it and test these guys. So first up, we have our good friend from 82 Square Studio, David. He is a great model. You should check out 82 Square Studio. He's, he is doing live streaming while he's building the mods. So the first one here is called the TLX Flatbed X2. Uh, this is you can have this in two different configurations. You could either connect it to the TLX Phoenix semi truck, or you can have it. You can also pull it with a tractor, but then you need this one, which is called the TLX Pop Trailer and then you can connect the uh, the bed i'm going to show you where you're going to find this and this guy here you need to do something well the configuration on it it's pretty important we can start with this one actually oh, i got something in my throat so under trucks you have this one the tlx phoenix first thing you want to know <laughs> you need to do is the top configuration you have to put this one to x2 is it called yeah i think so x2 uh, that's a lot of different there we go rigid x2 so this is the only uh, way you can connect to the uh, flatbed autoload trailer so yeah that's one thing and uh, the bed itself uh, you'll find under tools and miscellaneous and we have three different beds for this actually uh, when it comes to auto load we have auto load for square bales or round bales we have for um, all the production chain and we have one for mini bales so this is the one for pallets you can change from wood to metal and you can put whatever color you want on it this will hold 34,000 liter there we go. Um, so that's these two. Uh, the only difference there is, of course, this one, the pop trailer. This you'll find under trailers. So let's jump in here. Let's go up to trailers. And he says, yeah, it should be here. I have too many mods now. There we go. The TLX pop trailer frame. This also you can change uh, different wheel options, uh, decals, main color. Yeah, <laughs> I love the color palettes on all TLX things, so to speak. <laughs> so this is uh, this has a pin hitch as you can see. So this will connect to yeah all tractors more or less. And there we go. So that's. Uh, I think at first I'm gonna show you all of these and then we're gonna do the testing afterwards. Uh, next one is also from 82 Square Studio. Uh, this is the TLX box set. Uh, you have the TLX uh, 2020 car truck. Uh, and then you have a bed which you can connect to the TLX 2020 and you have also a separate trailer. And this one you can, you know, you can connect it also to a tractor if you don't have or if you don't want the 2020. Uh, and also <laughs> the capacity on these two. There are some unreal capacities on these two. You can get these up to 28,000 liter each. So what's that? 54,000 54, liter you can have in these two together. Uh, so these ones you will find under miscellaneous. I'm going to show you actually an easier way to find these also. Because there are so many things under miscellaneous now. But anyway, here we have the TLX Boxit. 
Uh, so here you can change vinyls, vinyls and you can see capacity is only 7,000 liter, but then unreal capacity is 28,000 liter. That's going to cost you 15,000 extra, but uh, yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> and then the trailer is on the trailers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There we go, the TLX Boxy Trailer. Same kind of configuration on this one. Uh, an easier way to find all of these, especially when it comes to the TLX 2020 and all its beds. If you scroll all the way down to mods and DLCs, these are all the mods that you have downloaded. So if you then go into TLX 2020 series, bam, then you will get all the different beds, uh, trailers, everything to the TLX 2020. And it's so much easier to find stuff. And same with the TLX Phoenix series. You get the three different uh, semi-trucks and then you get all the different beds, trailers, yeah, bits and bobs. So especially with <laughs> especially with 82 Square Studio uh, things because there are so many things and connections there. I, I always go in that way. Uh, so that's the uh, from 82 Square Studio. Uh, next one, uh, this one. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. So this, uh, both of these uh, mods here is by ER Shaba. Uh, this is the Tatra Phoenix uh, IT runner. And on the back here, we have an IT runner back bed. And you can also get this with fluids, but this one is for pallets. So the truck itself you'll find on the, not here. <laughs> oh, maybe, you know what? Maybe we can go into, yeah, this one, Phoenix IT Runner Edition. Ah, okay, then we only get this one, okay. So yeah, you don't get the connection, sir. But anyway, that's the Phoenix IT Runner Edition. Uh, and the bed itself you'll find under tools and miscellaneous. And here you can see we have this one. This is for pallets. And the really nice thing about this one, it doesn't only take the normal production pallets. It also takes all these pallets from Umatana. <laughs> and you have one for liquids uh, so these are the ones and they're pretty cheap and the capacity is pretty good on these these are 34,000 and the price is only 3,600 now if you don't have if you don't want to buy the uh, Tartra Phoenix IT runner uh, a time of recording disclaimer we have I think two IT runners already. I only have one and that's from the IT runner pack. No, it's not from the IT runner pack. It's from the Roland pack. <laughs> I need something in my mouth there. Mm. Don't drink and drive and eat at the same time. Uh, so yeah, there are, I think there are a couple of others of also of these ones. Uh, but anyway, so this will take 34,000 liter. And yeah, it's... I like these IT runners. I didn't show, I didn't show... Yeah, I did show where you can find it, but I don't think the... Yeah, the only configuration is main color. So yeah. And on the liquid one, you can choose between all the different ones so just be bear in mind but this is not for liquids this test here is only for pallets so that's the uh, auto load for pallets from ER Shaba moving on to the next one this is also by Mr. ER Shaba this is the Bokman trailer Bokman auto load trailer this will hold 20,000 liter 
And this one also says it's gonna take the Umatana special new edition on the production chain. So this one you will find also under tools and miscellaneous. I'm sorry, I forgot all about the slot count. But it's strange that <laughs> in FS22, at least, I'm not uh, I'm not worried about slot count anymore. Uh, first of all, uh, I have the PS5 and we have a lot of slot count. And the uh, implements, tools and vehicles themselves also requires a little bit less slot count. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, so this one you can change wheel setup, uh, color palettes, whatever you want. Uh, it's 13,000 to buy and 20,000 liter capacity. So this one you can connect to a car, a tractor, whatever. So these are the four ones I have found. So now it's time to test them. So first one, I'm going to test uh, this guy. Let's see, I'm going to need my help window, like so. This is the one that you don't need to do anything. You just have to be really close. Oh, <laughs> so the reason also why I'm doing this test is because uh, I had some trouble uh, in my last Let's Play on Comston. There we go. We got some honey. So now, uh, I have some sell points over here. First one here is the wholesale. This will take more or less everything. And it's going to take uh, honey. So let's see if we can sell honey with this one. There we go. Honey is going down. Good, good, good. This is going to be uh, this is going to be a little bit more tricky than I thought. Um, you know what? Let's uh, let's take some strawberries. Let's see if we can get some strawberries. I've seen a lot of people complaining about this because it doesn't load. But the, the thing is that you need to be really close. Really close. Uh, I found out that uh, uh, it's actually easiest to load these ones uh, from the back, actually. Uh, the sell point, uh, let's see, yeah, there we go. We can sell, uh, no problem with that. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the sugar one. I'm gonna go to this one. This is the this is a this is a part of Umatana's. Uh, oh, what's it called again? Uh, the Umatana Farm Production Pack. Uh, if you go into build mode, like I call it construction, <laughs> and you go to production. You have a lot of uh, factories, different sizes uh, on farm production barn. You have medium, you have alpine style. But what you also get with this, if you go up to selling points, you have these two, the shop and the grocery store. I have the shop now installed. So these, this, these sell points are uh, we'll take all these um, products. So what I have done, I filled it up with potatoes. I made some French fries. So let's see if 82 Square Studios can take these ones. Let I don't think so. Ooh, let's go on the back. Uh, no. So it will not take uh, these ones. Uh, let's see. There we go. There we go. You need to be really close with this one. <laughs> Almost at the top of the pallet. So that's for the uh, that's the TLX um, the TLX flatbed X2. And yeah, there we go. And the next one here, I just want to check this one also, because I don't think this will take, you know what, let's uh, disconnect this one. <laughs> we 
with this one it says in the mod hub that you should open the door so by pressing l1 and x open the door to start loading and this is i don't think this will take products from umatana yet but this will take all these other ones uh if we go in here yeah there we go but it all these auto load trailers uh, will only do one product out no oh yeah that's <laughs> i'm so lying to myself this is the this is the um, i don't want to call it a weak link or a weak point but yeah, uh, this one behaves a little bit strange because you saw that I put some strawberries in but now suddenly I have 1,700 1, litres of honey and if I go over here now let's see what happens no, nothing happens but it over... what should I say? it overtook the strawberry and yeah that's a strange one i've i've used this uh, a couple of times on one of my let's plays and the same thing happened it's a great mod but yeah this is a little bit strange let's uh, let's do the same let's uh, try with some eggs there we go yeah so 200 liter with eggs now let's try to go over to the sugar and see what happens yeah and there it goes up <laughs> and now I suddenly have <laughs> sugar and all my uh, eggs have disappeared and to unload this one uh, it's R1 and triangle and then it's gonna be boop only sugar so I don't know where the uh, limit goes for the minimum amount you need to have but yeah that it that's uh, a weak point with this one even though it looks great <laughs> I guess it's a small fix for Mr. 82 Square Studio I'm pretty sure of it and with the trailer attached you can have 54,000 liter on this one so next one these two here from ear shaba i'm a little bit excited of because i haven't tested these ones so what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna do a, a normal in-game product like sugar let's see let's see if we need to do something here uh l1 load container Oh yeah, okay. Uh, this is probably you need to have it on the floor, on the ground. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. This is the same one we had on FS19, I think. So we need to have it on the uh, on the floor to get it to load. Now let's see. I have 1100. Oh, joy. 1100 liters let's uh, let's try to go over uh, the strawberries let's see if this is overriding overloading the sugar uh, now I have set oh oh shoot now I have seven liters with <laughs> with strawberries okay and all right all right okay let's stop it there okay let's uh let's try to sell these ones let's see if we have oh the oh oh whoa, whoa, whoa. okay okay so you don't need to lower the bed to the ground uh to offload them that's a good thing now this is the thing it says in the uh, well in the description in inside here let's see where to go uh trailers trailers du, du, du. no 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 uh miscellaneous <laughs> uh 
if we go here, you can see it starts scrolling now. So it should also say all the Umadana thing. There we go, French fries, spaghetti, ice cream. So let's uh, let's lower this one, L1 and X. And let's have a look. Uh, all right. Uh, L1 drop off container. No, I need to be really close. No. Nothing. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh man, oh man, this is a quick one. Hoochie mama. Um, and for these kind of products. Uh, if we go into the cell points and we scroll down to all the Umatana things, you see it's uh, here on No Man's Land at least. It's only the shop that will take these ones. But it doesn't hurt to check here at the wholesales. No. So here at the shop, there we go. Wow, this is a quick one. Hoochie oh, man. There we go. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, okay. So, but the um, it also overloads. So let's see. Let's take a small amount with honey. It should also take that. Hopefully, <laughs> this is a little bit testing and uh, testing and learning at the same time. There we go. Let's take a small amount. Man. Small amount with honey, and then let's try. Uh, let's try the egg. Let's see if we will override. There we go. Oh yeah. So yeah, these ones also. It's not only the uh, 82 square studio ones. It's also these ones. Just be careful. Uh, but the good thing about this one, this one you need to lower to the ground to be able to pick up other pallets. But yeah, all right, all right. Let's see if the shop will take 56 liter with. Yeah, there we go. So that's the uh, that's the IT runner auto load for pallets. And lastly, here is the other one from. Um, Ear Shaba, the Bokman. This one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, now I don't have any more French fries. Oh shoot, the maker. Alright. Let's. Why do I have fabric in it? Ah, I know. It's because I picked it up at the shop and I had a pallet which. Oh, there we go. This is the one I had problem with. Uh, let's see, fabric. We should be able to sell that at the wholesale. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the one I had problem with uh, selling. Let's see here at the shop. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. You know, I gotta pick out a favorite uh, before I end this video. <laughs> and I'm a little bit, still a little bit confused what my favorite is. Let's see here if we can get some. Uh, there we go. We get some uh, strawberries. I don't have any more french fries. We need to fast forward a day and get some more french fries. But yeah, uh, I don't know if it's this cell pointer. You know what? Let's check. Uh, let's check uh, strawberries. If I have, yeah, I can also sell it at the farm shop. Let's go up to the farm shop and see if we can sell it there. It might be the the cell point and not the trailer. And can we do it with the door closed? <laughs> Let's see. 
Uh, nothing is happening now. Let's open the doors. No, no, nothing. Nothing. Ha! Huh. Multi fruit buying station. Oh, that's only for buying. Farm production barn. Farm production barn? Oh, okay, that's the factory. Alright, alright. Can I unload it to my multi fruit silo? No. And I can sell it here. Yeah, I could sell it here. Yeah, all right. So it could be, it could be the sell point, the wholesale sell point. You know what? I'm gonna fast forward and I'm gonna test it on some French fries. So here we go, day after, and we got some more French fries. Let's uh, let's test it out. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, these products will only sell at the shop that comes with the mod. So, let's see. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You know what? I'm going to take myself one minute and I'm going to... I'm not going to say which one is best, but I'm going to say which are my favorite. Yeah, let's put it like that. So, my conclusion. Well, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, there are many different factors that is, you know, playing a big role here. You have price, you have capacity. You have versatile towards other production chains, and yeah, it also what your style is. Uh, are you using semi trucks? Or are you used to having just trailers? So, in my mind, uh, for my premises, I think my favorite have to be. Uh, this guy here. <laughs> I know it has a little bit of weakness when it comes to if you have a little bit of a product inside and if you drive by another production chain, it will overload it, so to speak. But as long as you know about it, um, it sh you should be good. Uh, and if I'm gonna run uh, in the future, if I'm gonna run one of the Omatana production chains, uh, then I think this is gonna be my favorite because then you know uh, I can do everything with this one. Uh, the only thing about well, my conclusion why this is the best one is that it connects to the TLX 2020. <laughs> And also, you can have this one separate, uh, and also the capacity is pretty good. Uh, but as I said, it connects to the 2020, and you have so many different other connections to the 2020. Uh, like this one, for example, this is a trailer which can take everything, and it holds 82,000 liters. And this one is uh, a tanker, which can hold more or less all liquids, and it can hold 50,000 liters. So these two are the only one you need, actually, <laughs> to, you know, hold your grains and your liquids on your farm. And then you can have one of these beds for pallets, and you're good to go. But you know, you, it's all, it all depends on what you have on your farm from before. Uh, it all depends on which kind of productions you are running. Uh, but at least uh, that's my premises and my... You know, there are other IT runners. You don't have to buy this one, as I said. There are these separate IT runners, but that's also some of these are costy the the one thing I, I liked about this one is that you need to have it on the ground so if you're driving past a production chain you will not uh, overload it 
the one I've used the most is actually this one. This setup here is the one I'm using on Compson Farm right now. So yeah, I might just continue with it. Uh, or I will just buy myself one of these and get all the implements. <laughs> At least for the next Let's Play, that's for sure. But anyway, um, if you have any comments, if you have any other Outlaw trailers for pallets on console, please let me know in the comment section what are your favorites. And yeah, we just have to... Um, and we are early. We are like November, December, January, February, March, April. We are only five months into the game and we already have all of these Outlaw trailers. And I don't understand why people are still complaining. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching and yeah, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.